Are you stuck in your project due to not being able to find the link within a set of activities or missing out on leftover works due to technical shortcomings? Excel can help you out of here easily. How so? Stay with us till the end of this video to find out. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulmi from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forum, templates and VB related answers. Here we have 6 activities along with their predecessor task lists. Now we will learn how to create a project network diagram in Excel. We will discuss 5 steps to do that using Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. Here we have divided our entire project into multiple activities naming them A, B, C, etc. Here we have also mentioned the predecessor tasks. Finally, let's enter all activities and schedule time maintaining the activity flow. Let's say the schedule time is 2, then 8, something like that. Here we will custom shape our columns. Select column J and L using control key and set their width to be 121 pixels. And for K column, let it be 82 pixels. Now merge J5 to L5 from the home tab under the alignment group by using merge and center. Now let's add a title. Merging the cells and here we will add segment labels. Let's format it from the format painter like that. After custom shaping all the cells within worksheet, now let's format the cells from J4 to L6. From the home tab under font group, click on border drop down and select all borders, then tick outside borders. In J4, let's add early starting. That will be used as ES to record early starting date, then duration as D, early finishing time, EF. Now activity name, now in J6, there will be late starting or LS, then float F, as in what time was actually spent on the project, and finally late finishing or LF. In this worksheet, we will generate a template. You can modify it according to your wish. Select column A to I, right click on any of them and from the context menu, choose column width. Let's choose the column width to be 3 units. Now, let's merge A2 to I2 from the home tab under the alignment group to be merge and center. Let's type here, project activities. Now, select B4 to D6. Now, from the home tab under font group, from the border drop down, choose all borders, then tick outside border. Now, choose B5 to D5 and merge them using the emergence center from alignment group. Now, we will add our parameters to consider the project network diagram. First, ES, D, E, F, A, L, S, F, L, F. We have discussed the full forms within the previous worksheet. Let's copy it from B4 to D6 and copy it using Ctrl C to paste it in F4, Ctrl V. Now press escape to cancel the selection. Now select both these templates which is range B4 to H6 and take another row and using fill handle drag it till H15. Now let's add the activity names B and the next one C here is D, E and finally F. Now we want to keep this region fixed within our screen. So let's click J3 and go to view tab. From the window group click on free spans drop down. Click on free spans. Now we can see one vertical and one horizontal lines within our screen. It makes sure that the columns will change and the rows will be scrolled but our top two rows and our columns from a to I will be fixed within our screen. Now let's select the data set from our previous worksheet info. Let's select 
B4286. Now use Ctrl C to copy. Now go to our template worksheet. Let's click on K17 and go to Home tab. From the clipboard group, click on Paste drop down and choose Linked Picture. And we can see the predecessor activity list. Now let's add these templates to this side of the lines with the same way. Ctrl C. Let's select K8 and paste drop down as for B. Now we have added this so that the values can be updated. Let's say our task name is changed into K and we can see immediate update within our network diagram. Now to complete it, let's undo our previous modification and add arrow to define the correlation between activities of this project. Go to insert tab and from the illustrations group click on shapes. Let's click arrow. Now let's draw an arrow like that and let's format it from the shape format tab on the shape styles group. Let's select the drop down and let's go along with this one. Let's copy it using Control shift and we can copy both of them for multiple times. Now let's modify their positions. Now let's select A1 to S1 and from the alignment group merge and center and from the styles group click on cell strands drop down choose heading 2 and let's type project network diagram. Let's increase its font size to 14 and here let's make it bold and font size 12. Let's give it a fill color say this one and let's copy it using Control C and paste it in J2 and we can see that our cell is pasted. Let's merge it like that and here let's align it to the left. And here the title will be project name to add the project name. Using this elaborate steps, we can create a project network diagram. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. You can visit our website exceldemy.com and reach out to our forum for all your VBA or Excel related problems free of cost. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share this video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.